in an address yesterday, Mr. Gutierrez criticised the Israeli response to the Hamas attacks earlier this month. It is important to also recognise the attacks by Hamas did not happen in a vacuum. The Palestinian people have been subjected to 56 years of suffocating occupation. They have seen their land steadily devoured by settlements and plagued by violence. Their economy stifled, their people displaced and their homes demolished. Their hopes for a political solution to their plight have been vanishing. But the grievances of the Palestinian people cannot justify the appalling attacks by Hamas. And those appalling attacks cannot justify the collective punishment of the Palestinian people. Now, in response to that, uh, Israel's ambassador to the UN has called on Mr. Gutierrez to step down from his position. And I think it is important in that context to remind people that when Antonio Gutierrez is describing what is happening in the Gaza Strip, he is not repeating Hamas talking points. He is repeating what he has been told by his own rapporteurs, UN rapporteurs on the ground, by Human Rights Watch, by Amnesty International, by the World Health Organization, the WHO. They say over 50 medical facilities, over 50 have been bombed by the IDF. That is a war crime under the Geneva Convention. The evacuation order for over a million people in northern Gaza telling them to move to southern Gaza, which is still being bombed. That is a forcible transfer of a civilian population. That is a war crime under the Geneva Convention. The use of white phosphorus, artillery rounds in civilian areas by the IDF, as reported by Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International, that is a war crime. It is prohibited by the Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons. The blockade that is going on on food and fuel and electricity to a civilian population in Gaza. That is collective punishment. That is a war crime under the Geneva Convention. And then there's just the overall nature of the bombing campaign itself. Daniel Hagari is a spokesperson for the IDF and he said the emphasis is on damage, not on accuracy. Those comments were reported in The Telegraph last week. That damage has now extended to hospitals and markets and mosques and schools and refugee camps and even a school in a refugee camp, according to the UN. So there would be something fundamentally flawed with the United Nations if Antonio Gutierrez was not calling this out and not pleading for civilians to be better protected. And before any accusations come in of bias in advance of our conversation on this in more detail later on in the show, the hostage taking that Hamas have engaged in, that is unequivocally a war crime under the Geneva Conventions.